Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the definition of the derivative. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals the square root of a negative 3x minus 5, and we have to use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative. Well, our definition is given right there. So let's apply that. f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of our function minus 3, but instead of an x, we put an x plus h in, and minus a 5. Subtracted by our original function, negative 3x minus 5, all over our good old h. Not too bad. Now, this one's kind of tricky. We're trying to simplify. We're trying to get an h out of the job here. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is actually multiply this by the conjugate over itself. So I'm going to take this numerator, negative 3x plus h right there, minus 5 plus the square root of negative 3x minus 5, all over the same thing, square root, negative 3x plus h minus 5 plus square root of negative 3x minus 5. And that conjugate, remember, is just one, but it allows us to kind of do some fancy things. And this is a good technique when you have square roots. So again, this is the limit as h approaches zero. Now, notice we multiplied out the inner term when we FOIL is going to cancel. And everything else here, well, we'll get rid of the square roots. So the square root of negative three times x plus h minus five times itself, this is the same thing without the square root, negative three x plus h here minus five. Same thing with the last part, minus just a negative 3x minus 5. We multiply this and that. The denominator is a little tricky, and I'm going to actually keep it separate. I'm going to put the h out here. And we have the square root of negative 3x plus h right there, minus 5, plus the square root of a negative 3x minus 5. Okay. Now what cancels in the numerator? Well, if I distribute the minus 3 and the minus 3 to the x and the h, we have a negative 3x minus 3h. I like to sometimes just leave that there. kind of makes it a little easier. Uh, if you need to pause it, look at it, take your time. Minus goes across here, so that's a plus positive. This becomes a positive as well. Now let's cancel where we can. Negative 3x, positive 3x cancels. Negative 5 and a positive 5 cancels. And we're left with just this negative 3h, but there's an h down here. Cancel that out right there. So what do we have now? We have the limit as h approaches 0. I kind of did a lot of steps there. Negative 3, this one right there, is the only thing left over in the numerator. Our denominator is this whole big bad boy right there. The square root of a negative 3 times an x plus h minus 5 plus the square root of a negative 3x minus 5. And we now can actually substitute directly in our limit as h approaches 0 because it doesn't cause any issues, not divided by 0 or anything. So to do that, we take the limit here. We have a negative 3 over the square root of a negative 3. Well, x plus 0, the h, the right, that's the only one that goes in right there. At zero, it's just zero. So x plus zero is x, actually. So minus three x minus five plus, well, the same thing over again. Square so root of negative three x minus five. Well, right there, that's two of them, right? So we can rewrite this to be negative three over two square root of a negative three x minus five. And I'll tell you what, I'm done. That's our dy dx our derivative, our y prime or f prime of x. And so our final answer is negative three over two times the square root of negative three x minus five. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.